work. Okay. Get the cutters. The dikes or the Yeah. Ideally the bitch dikes would work, but those are broken. Wait, I got another set, I think. Snap, snap on it. Snap on. Snap off. The snapper. Where are the cutters? I mean the shears. On the floor. Very spot one. and tedious process. Yeah. I was going to do it and then you started doing it. So I wanted to see if I could figure out how to do it without fucking up this hose. I'm trying to be careful, but I guarantee this is the fucking steel is going to end up poking a hole in it. There's an oil galley plug right down there. If you want to pull it out, it's going to look something like this. It's a 14 mil bolt. So focus, come on. Alright, so here's a bolt. It's a uh, 14 mil M. And it's an M10 one and a half, and you want to get a. This is an M10 to 4AN adapter, and then a 4AN to 3AN adapter, so we don't have to run that oil restrictor. And you want to take this and then just thread it in right down in the block down there. The uh, blow off valve and I T bung welded on, but other than that, this is all set. Just gotta clean up these couplers a little bit, had to cut them down. But everything's good, made a little bracket. Oh, it's not bolted down there now, but got the air filter solidly attached. And it just barely clears everything. So, what happened is we got a uh, two to three inch silicone 90, you had to cut it a little bit. Um, 
Then we got uh, straight. It was straight with the 90 at the end. I had to cut the 90 off. <coughs> Once I cut the 90 off, it was able to fit in here. We had another 90 degree elbow that ended up being more of a 45 degree elbow. And we got the water to air in a cooler. Made some brackets, just took some thick steel, bolted it to the valve cover, oh, yeah. and then grinded it down so it'll clear. You got it? And then on this end, just took the, the other 90 I had. What are you doing? Took the other 90 I had, um, cut it down, grinded it flat, and then put two couplers on. I still have to bead all these pipes, but this is the intercooler piping. Pretty much all set and ready to go. Um, it just barely fits, but barely closes. But other than that, just got to connect the water lines. Um, got one here, one there, and then I'm going to bleed the uh, water system, hook up the relay for the pump. Uh, we're making progress. And then... You also got the water lines hooked up. Yes. Oh yeah, also got the water lines. Let's cover that before. Uh, and the oil supply is hooked up. Yeah, oil supply is hooked up. It's right here. Um, for the air filter, I had to get a uh, two and a half to three, or I, think, I think it's actually two to three inch. Uh, coupler and then uh, cut it and put a piece of pipe in here to connect the filter onto it and then just clamp it down on nice. But it looks pretty sweet. Hopefully everything works. The only other thing I have to run is a hose for the idle air control which is over here. I'm just going to replace that and run it into this side of the pipe just so we don't have everything on that same side. Um, but other than that, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. They're over there, we're kind of jeep, and it's just bad. Oh, it's fucking horrible! You, do you agree? Yeah, it sucks. God. Changing a clutch on your back on a jeep sucks cock. So, I stole the trap, uh, drill and tap the oil pan, connect the downpipe, and that's pretty much it. I had to do my cat delete, but it's making, making progress on it. Oh.